There's a few very important things to consider with this fire, Victor 71498. My name is Ben Bogeen. I'm the fire behavior analyst on the Underwood Mountain Wildfire south of Port Alberni. When this fire ignited, a lot of resources immediately allocated to this fire. But unfortunately, this fire occurred in this very steep terrain with strong winds coming from the north that evening, funneling through a valley, making it very hard for us to be successful with direct attack. Uh, we had air tankers deployed, uh, there was bucket drops. This fire was getting into the canopy, moving very fast and throwing embers out ahead of itself, making new fires essentially outside of our established control lines or fuel breaks. On August 12th, this fire was 1,400 hectares by end of day. And currently the morning of August 13th here, it is just over 2,000 hectares. The challenges we're going to have here in the next couple days is a switch in our winds to be from the south, which we're seeing now. This is going to mean we are going to be turning, which was the back of our fire into our head of our fire. There's a lot more fuels available to be pushed by this and then moving up to the north and the northeast. One thing we do have coming in the forecast is rain. And rain is going to be a huge benefit for us on this fire. Unfortunately, rain isn't going to put this fire out. And I think the best analogy in this situation is if you think of that dry sponge sitting on your sink. If you just pour a bunch of water on that dry sponge, it's just going to fall right off. It's not going to absorb in. You got to kind of submerge that sponge, let it adjust to that moisture, accept it. That's the very similar situation that we have with our moss out here is lots of rain really fast, won't get absorbed into our fine fuels. We need sustained rain for a number of days to really have a big impact on this fire. And regardless of the amount of rain we have, because of the drought conditions out here, our fire is going to be digging into these bigger logs, our heavier fuels, we call them, and making it harder to actually be extinguished. So it's still going to involve a lot of ground crews, a lot of resources out here going in after the rain and during the rains to make sure this fire isn't going to spread when we do start to get some more warm weather.